right, so today I'm going to be covering functions. Um, I'm going to be covering bas the basic function, um, function with and without parameters, as well as a function with or without return values. So let's go ahead and get started. So a basic function, or what is a function? Um, a function is basically a name set of code used to accomplish a particular task. Um, and the function is actually called a named closure. So it's a closure that's been given a name. And I'll cover closures in a different video. Um, they are a little bit different from functions, but not really. So um, again, let's go ahead and get started. So to create a function, you use the keyword func, which is part of the word function. I'm just going to create a very, very simple function. So I'm going to actually create a function that's going to print out a greeting. And this is a function that does not contain a parameter and also does not contain a return value. So um, these parentheses are always required for functions. And they, well, yeah, they're just required for functions. So um, basically, there's nothing inside of them and there's no return value. So I'm going to do my brackets. I want to have this function just say print. Hello, Playground, since usually Playground has this uh, all the time. So we're going to play around with that. So this is a very, very basic function. Now you're asking, okay, so why didn't it print output down here? Well, because we haven't called it yet. So let's call print greeting. And there you go. Because we called it, it executes the code. And if you notice, all I did was call its name, which is print reading, and the parentheses are always required when you call a function. All right, so that's a very, very basic function. And this function, again, um, has absolutely no parameters and no returns. Now you're saying, okay, well, it doesn't have return, but how did you get it to print? Well, print is actually a function. <laughs> it's built in. Um, and you'll see what I mean. Okay, so uh, I guess I should just yeah, to show you the um, difference between function with and without return values. Now, I said that without return value, what I mean is that it doesn't output anything. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with parameters because it's a little bit easy for me to start off with first. So um, well, what is a parameter? A parameter gives a function something to work with. It takes input or data that you give it to execute some task inside of its um, code, its set name of code, in order to do some tasks. So this is where we actually want to produce a result of some sort. So um, let's go ahead and do a function. Let's do a greeting where um, the function will actually greet somebody by name. So it's going to take um, name that's this parameter and this parameter is going to be a string so we're going to put something in here which is a parameter in parentheses but if you notice above here I didn't do that it's just an empty parentheses so here we're actually saying hey we're going to input some data that is called name and it's of type string and that's what I want you to work with so brackets and I'm going to do print again just because it's easy at this point. I'll show you how to do this without doing print but actually returning um, a greeting. So I'm going to say hello, string interpolation, name, close brackets. And now I'm going to call this function greeting. We're going to input a name. So I'm going to say John Daniel. And there you go. You see, it took in the, the the name of type string and actually printed out "Hello John." And so I already showed you an example without parameters, which is above here. So this is without parameter. This is with a parameter. Okay, so. Um, well, what's with the return values you keep talking about? Well, 
basically, let's go ahead and, and rewrite this function here um, to have a return value instead of printing this out. So let's do greeting, or actually, let's say, um, say hello, greeting. So we'll get to a little something different. So again, we have our name string. And then we're going to instead say we want you to return something and we want that return to be a string as well. So what we're going to do is basically the same thing we did above, but instead of doing print, we're going to say return. And you have to use return um, because it's it's basically a non-void function, as you see that error popped up, which is perfect timing because it isn't a non-void function, which brings me to a point, what is a void function? Well, this up here is actually a void function because it contains no return values whatsoever. Okay, and um, yes. So returns nothing at all. So what we're going to return is a string similar to the one we had before. We said hello and we're going to do string interpolation again with name. And then when we output say hello name, this time I'm going to do Mike. All right, so you see over here, when we call this function, we enter Mike, we see that it actually does output hello Mike, which is perfect. But what we want it to output down here, so we're just going to encapsulate this in a print statement or a print, print function. And bang, there it is. So we have hello Mike. All right, so that is how you work with or create a function with a return value. Okay, so we did that. So let's, let's create something a little bit more complicated. Let's, let's have a function that has multiple parameters and return something. So let's, let's go ahead and do that. So um, again, we'll do function and let's do, let's have it calculate the per, um, perimeter of a rectangle, a rectangle. So a rectangle. And now I'm going to create its parameters. So um, what we need is we need length. And we're going to have that type double and then we need width. And that type is also going to be double. And then close our parentheses. And we want it to return the result, which is actually going to be double. So, okay, so there we go. It's going to return double. Now we use our brackets. And now let's go ahead and do our return. And so our return is going to be two times <laughs> the length plus the width. Okay. So it's going to do that math for us. And let's, let's uh, go ahead and do the math, the perimeter rectangle. Now, I don't know if you noticed this, but this is quite interesting. If you see, this looks like a tuple, which it is actually. The parameters are a tuple. And we're saying that this function has a tuple that contains length and width. So it contains two elements. Um, and so basically, when you have a function that doesn't return anything, in this case, we have a function that returns zero elements. This is actually, yeah, a void function, or it contains uh, a tuple with zero elements. So tuples are actually quite a reoccurring theme with Swift, as I'm finding out. Um, which is just quite fascinating. So here again, we have a tuple, kind of like we did before. Um, yeah, so it's it's absolutely fascinating that it's a constant reoccurring theme. <laughs> All right, so um, let's go ahead and give this 
this function some values to work with. So I'm going to do two as the length and three as the width. Okay, so it has done the math, as you see here. Um, but let's make this look pretty. Let's do it in a print statement. I'm going to do um, the length width, and then I'm going to do two and ten and close the brackets. Okay, so it should output 24, which is absolutely correct. All right, so we've covered um, functions, the parameters, return values, and what they look like, as well as the, you know, working with functions working with functions that have parameters and that don't have parameters, as well as having return values and not having return values. So hopefully you've learned a lot. Um, continue on and we'll cover a little bit more fun stuff with functions.